What does it rev to? Uh, about six and a half. Or, uh... Yes, Ali. Right, mate. Nice to you see right? you. Welcome to the channel. Cheers, thank you. So, uh, Land Rover Defender, something. Yeah, something a bit different for you. So Very it's different. A 90 inch Land Rover Defender, full upgrades all around. It's kind of a shooting vehicle, so you'll see in the back there's something a bit different as well. Full sawtooth tyres, EBC disc brakes all around, and progressive handling suspension. And then the big, the big surprises you'll see in a bit is under the bonnet. So what year is this? Is there like? So it's a 2004, and what we took out of it was a 2.5 diesel engine, which uh, okay. frankly is a little bit boring yeah. um, as standard. And uh, we've completely rebuilt it. So we took every axle, every nut and bolt off the car, and we've built it up over the past year from there. Wow. Um, so what it is today. So in the back, as you'll see, we've uh, put custom shooting gun safe, wow. drinks rack, cartridge holder hooks for your coats and what have you. It's got the uh, fiberglass bonnet with the hood scoop in it, which just gives it a nice aggressive stance. Big 18 inch short tooth tires, they're normally 16s on these. Uh, you've got the uh, steps to get in, just so his wife can get in, because <laughs> it's still quite a high car. So sorry, this is built by you and a friend, you said as yeah, well, yeah? yeah for so, like another friend? That... Yeah, so my dad's oldest schoolmate's a bit of a collector of cars. Yeah. Uh, does a lot of shooting, and he kind of looked at this, and there's there's, there's companies on the market who make these, um, but they charge silly money for them. Right. They kind of don't always tailor them to exactly how you wanted. Um, so we kind of took on the challenge and uh, cracked on with it about a year ago, just out of the blue after dinner where we decided it'd be a good idea. And yeah, it went from that. Wow, and how are you, Ollie? Yeah, so I'm 20. So, 20? Yeah, so between me and the one other guy who's a bit older, um, a family friend of ours, he's a fel fabricator and welder. Right. Uh, yeah, I kind of project managed it, ordered parts, kind of had the vision for the car, and he did the fabrication of brackets and all that. So in the back here, we've got the two seats. Um, in here, this is the uh, custom gun safe that runs the length of the car. So you can fit your gun in there and lock it away with the padlock so it's nice and safe. Mm -hmm. Drinks rack. Um, cartridge box and then full Alcantara headlining, um, checker plate, checker plate floor and uh, custom side panels that we had to make in-house uh, because the seats as you can see are quite wide and hugging the sports seats. The finish is nice man, very very nice and you mentioned something about this sliding seat you had to angle it down or something was you yeah, saying? Yeah so up here just the, what's one of the bits Duncan, the other guy did it. So in the bulkhead bar up there, mm -hmm. we had to put a 90 degree notch in it just to allow the gun safe to run the length. Right. And then you can have any level uh, length of gun in there. Where the and guns? No guns here, no? No. no. <laughs> you got a DVD player out there as well. Uh, yeah, we've got a full Pioneer system, Apple CarPlay, all the usual toys. Nice. Um, nice subwoofer just, just to make it a bit more refined and kind of a bit more modern. Yeah, this is where you come into it. I've <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Corvette engine, yeah? What did yeah, you say, so LS3? 6.2 litre LS3 Corvette engine mated to a Tremec T56 six speed manual gearbox. Wow. Uh, pushing out about 430 horsepower. So we think it could be a bit more than this, as actually it's got a performance uh, stainless steel exhaust on it. Um, cut, uh, slightly better headers as well, and mm -hmm. just so it possibly is a bit higher than that, nice. and also pushing out about 426 newton meters of torque. So, wow, so the car looks pretty heavy, but it's actually not that heavy, is yeah, it? Yeah, no, so it's I a, mean, it's heavy, it's but a bit under two tons, so. It's, it, it's heavy, but not that heavy. Well, did it state 1,700 kilos? Yeah, it's 17.5, I think. It's so, was that a big job getting the engine in? Yeah, so uh, took a bit of modification. So, oh, it's custom brackets. Um, we had to move the engine actually back uh, 10 centimeters in the end. Okay. Just not only to clear the steering box, but also to clear the front axle. Right. Otherwise, you'd have an issue where the front axle would come up and smash a hole in the sun. Okay. It's not ideal, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the benefit of that as well is that actually the balance point of the engine 
is right on the bulkhead now so if you you can hang it on a chain and it's perfectly on the bolt head which pushes the weight back in the car right. um, so all the weight sits a bit further back a bit more uh, in the center of the car okay which just makes it handle better ride better but this has had everything gone through new steering box poly bushes throughout it's got uh, two inches drop on it but then it kind of the car's brought up by the 18 inch wheels yeah but what that does is the progressive springs just take the nasty out the bump and then give you a nice firm ride so you can really actually throw it into the corners with a bit of confidence constant four-wheel drive um, lim limited slip rear axle uh, uprated front axle um, and then it's had caster correctors on the front so naturally the car wants to stay in a straight line a bit better okay um, yeah and then that uh, six-speed manual which is a bit different a lot of the companies who do build these put automatics in them right but at that point in my eyes it's basically a Range Rover um, right yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, the fact this is still a manual and you can still drive it with this amount of horsepower mm. um, it's just hilarious it's just so much fun and it keeps it kind of a, a bit more original than how it is without the bonnet up you kind of wouldn't know what this is no it, even looking it in the front the only the only thing that really gives it away is the extra gear lever on the bottom that's a bit weird but most people would look at this and just go oh it's a nice land rover can it still be used as an off-roader oh yeah 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 so it's still very capable actually potentially it's nearly just as capable if not more capable than a standard one mm. um, because it's got the limited slip rear axle we had it up on a gravel road the other day and you can actually see it working it's okay so it just gives you that extra traction in the back doesn't let anything kind of all go through one wheel and lose all the power so yeah cool how is the owner going to be spending this time yeah in it? so he lives up in yorkshire he shoots quite regularly and he's going to be using it for that um off-roading yeah yeah it do a bit of off-roading nothing major kind of across fields and what have you which this will be more than capable of doing yeah um, down some muddy lanes what have you but uh obviously where this is more fun is on the road um, yeah where you can give it some beans <laughs> all right <laughs> should we jump out of the nolly yeah yeah sure. wicked man He wants me to go rallying by the way. I'm like, <laughs> what? Are you sure? Like, you do, you do everything in this one. Go off road a lot. Every time you get in it, you just can't help. Like, just go in and out. It's absolutely getting weird. Bloody hell, man. That yeah. moves, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't wow. mess around. Ride as well. It's like firm, but not too harsh. Wow. Brakes are good as 
well. Yeah, yeah, they want they work better when they get hot. They got EBC yellow stuff pads, which are a semi track focused um, pad. Yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? That top end. Yeah. Just, oh. Man, gearbox is nice as well. Yeah, really yeah. nice. That's the thing. You, can, you can just kind of rest your arm on here and just flick it through all six gears without too much hassle. So is the engine itself expensive? Like you know, do yes. you have to ship it from America? No. Or? So there's a company in the UK who um, import them and then you just buy it from them as a crate, as a right. package. Okay. But what they don't tell you, as usual, is you still need a load of bits with that. So you still need the alternator, you need the power steering cup, and all the usual stuff. So they don't supply that, or well, are they, they selling it separately? They do, but yeah, it's separate. So they, they kind of, you get your crate and you go, oh, you've got everything, but actually you don't quite have everything. So what's your background in Ollie? Because you seem to know quite a lot, man. You're pretty so young as well. dad's just, my dad's just really keen on cars and all that, and he's kind of rubbed off on me a bit, and then yeah, kind of dangled me a very basic Land Rover, like a. 1990 Land Rover with a 200 TDI engine in it, which is a rubbish old diesel. Right. Which they're super reliable, but they're just just slow and black smoke out the back, all the usual. From there, I've just started modifying them, messing around with them, and then yeah, um, my well, dad's oldest schoolmate just uh, had the trust in us and uh, to build this for him, and we went for it. <laughs> That's wrong, man. Yeah, yeah. That is wrong. I suppose maintenance and stuff, like, is it? What's it like? Jeez, it's not too bad, it? really. Like a lot, a lot of the basic stuff's similar to what it was when we when we built the car. We were always worrying about what if you had to take something apart, kind of thing, to get to it to replace it. So we didn't want to mess around with kind of burying stuff behind anything. So we always kind of thought ahead in that respect. Yeah. <laughs> 
so you can, can people actually sit in the back whilst we're driving? Yeah, so right. technically, I mean, I've sat in there when you go fast, but because they're side facing seats, I mean, you wouldn't really want to be in them yeah. if anything did happen. It's pretty comfortable though, isn't no, it? Yeah, like, these it's not seats, harsh, you don't no. smash the bumps or anything. No, that's the thing. Everything nice. These are like normally really wobbly and all over the place, but because they're, they're progressive springs, they just take the, the harshness out of the bump, but yeah. then they're firm underneath that, so it just deals with it. I mean, that throttle response, it allows for very precise change. I'm a little bit more used to the clutch now. Yeah, no. initially, like the I clutch said, initially like, is a bit weird, but yeah. once you get used to it, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's great. I like this small steering wheel as well. Yeah, yeah, no, it's nice. Everyone they look, the normal they? ones are massive. Yeah, that's the thing. It, it's one <laughs> what of the, are they looking at? Is it like, the look of it or is it the I'll, sound that it, comes? It, or? It, it, it's a bit of everything, I think. Like, a lot of people just in Eng England in general just like defenders like it's yeah. always kind of like quite a stable car yeah. in England um, it's aggressive as well doesn't but it but then yeah this one looks aggressive and then you just get you get that exhaust noise and it people are just like what's going on there yeah so the owner's going to be loving this so yeah. like, how long do you reckon he's going to keep it a while oh uh, yeah really? I think I think it'll, it'll keep it for a long old while to be honest I mean he's got some very nice cars um, yeah. himself but where he's from down his lanes in Yorkshire and what have you this is just the ultimate Hi Oli, uh, I think I'm going to end the video there. Um, thank you so much for coming That's down. Right, no worries. Appreciate Hope you it. Enjoyed it. Let me drive this thing as well. <laughs> Definitely something a little different for the channel. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, guys. As always, if you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, Oli, any social links? Anything you want to? Yeah. You wanna you, shout out? We've got a build uh, of the Inst on Instagram of the entire build. So if you're remotely interested, you can go to Sixth Element Engineering on Instagram, and uh, it's got the full build photos from start to finish. And uh, there'll be some. There's my personal details on there. If you want to get in contact and ask any questions, feel free. Cool. Yeah, I'll leave them in the uh, description, Oli. And uh, yeah, see you later, guys. Bye.